It's the biggest fashion event of the year. And everyone's like, Cinderella is reborn. It's a lot of fun today. Jenny from the block brings it to the Met Gala steps year after year. I just feel like, you know, everybody comes out, everybody's very glamorous, it's all for a good cause, and so it's a beautiful thing. At this point, JLo's a Met vet, snagging an invite to the coveted event 14 times. You know, Anna calls you and asks you to host the Met Gala along with her. It's kind of the biggest night in fashion and to raise money for the, for the museum. It was a real honor. It's a nice thing to be a part of. And for 2024, Jen's a co-chair for Fashion's Biggest Night, alongside Zendaya, Chris Hemsworth, Bad Bunny, and of course, Vogue's Anna Wintour. And in honor of that honor, ET's looking back at every iconic Jennifer Lopez style statement from that iconic red carpet over the years. I've always been into fashion. Since I was a little girl, I used to rip up my sweatshirts and make different skirts and suspenders out of them. I, that was something that was always just part of me. She's put that passion for fashion on display since day one. I was trying to remember what, what my first Met Ball was. I think it was like 1998 or 99 or 2000 or something. We got you, Jen. It was 1999 and E.T. was there. She showed off her curves in a monochrome beige halter gown with cutouts down to her waist. Five years later, Jen was back at the Met for the 2004 ball, rocking this sheer black Dolce & Gabbana look. Her dates for the night? The design duo themselves. You are the goddess of fashion and music combined. Why do you think they go so hand in hand? Um, you know, it's just a natural combination. You can't have kind of music without fashion. You know what I mean? And you can't have fashion without music. It's such an inspiration, I think, to fashion designers everywhere. You know, when whenever I've met the best fashion designers in the world that I've gotten the privilege to work with, they're always so inspired by music and musicians. Um, uh, so it's it's just it's just a marriage. It's a it's a beautiful a beautiful marriage. Two years after that, Jen sported this stunning soft pink Versace gown, a simple look that proves she lives by her own style advice. Find something that I feel really comfortable in and that I like how I feel when I put it on, you know, it makes me feel fabulous or whatever, and that's just what I go with usually. And in 2007, she sparkled in silver, giving old Hollywood glam with a curly bob and column-style Marquesa gown. You know what? I think you're the most glamorous couple here tonight. Oh, thank you so much. For 08's Met, Jennifer brought her then-husband, Mark Anthony, but it was her bejeweled Alberta Ferretti gown that stole the spotlight. How did you manage to be a mother, and I hear an amazing mother, and to be so uh, such a movie star, so glad? It makes me blush. It's very hard I, to make me blush. I mean, it's, it's, an ama it's been an amazing, amazing time for, for me, for us. I was just saying, they asked me what... Um, superpower would I like to have and I said to be in two places at one time because I'd rather be home right now with my babies not that this is not fabulous and great but you're the best person on the red carpet does Emmy have that already when I she think so she room? loves the camera yeah, she definitely has she, she loves the camera she took a break in 09, but was back in action for the 2010 gala, giving us goddess in some Zuhair Murad tulle, a sexy smoky eye playing off the strapless embroidered gown. Did it take many fittings? No, actually I um, was in Kazakhstan doing a show, and on Fashion TV I saw his show and I was like, I actually didn't really hadn't heard of him before, and I was like, who is he? I need that dress! And I asked for it, and he sent it. Is this kind of a, a modern fairy tale for you? This it girl? is, it is. When I left, um, uh, my stylist and everybody was like, Cinderella is reborn! It was sweet. How are the twins for you? <laughs> They're great. They were helping me get ready, kind of. Like with what? Perfume, <laughs> makeup, shoes? Everything. They like to paint me. They like to paint me with makeup, and Emmy had rollers in her hair. For 2011, the vibes were red hot on the red carpet. Jen's look ripped straight from the runway. What was the inspiration between coming to the ball? Coming to the ball, I mean, we are, we're invited by Gucci, so obviously we're wearing Gucci. Frida's a good friend of ours. We did the campaign for UNICEF together, so we're here tonight to support her. Then came her Michael Kors moment at the Met. Jennifer Lopez looking glam in an animal print. Designer Michael Kors behind her, she's got a mohawk. Her man Casper, right over here. Wow, 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 honey. <laughs> How are you feeling in that I gown? I feel great. It's Michael Kors. 
Yeah, you know, uh, it's good when your muse is with you. You, you, you. you get to have fun dressing such an amazing lady. And we were punk, but we still wanted it to be very Michael and very much me, and I think he is a genius at doing that. I have to say, you know what? I think we have good fashion telepathy. Like, we kind of know what's going to work. It's, it, 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 I think after all this time, I, I know what really is great on her. And the best thing is she knows what's great on herself. And she's not afraid to show some skin. Her 2015 ensemble, a sultry Versace gown featuring a red dragon, continued her commitment to going sheer. Jennifer leaning into that year's theme, China through the looking glass. JLo brought the blue to her next Met appearance, going Grecian in Valentino, complete with flowy cape. She made headlines on the 2017 carpet by debuting her romance with then-boyfriend Alex Rodriguez. It kicked off a three-year Met Gala run for the pair. You guys made your debut here one year ago. How does it feel to be back at the Met? What well, we were just started dating last year when we came to the Met, and so this is kind of like an anniversary for us, so it's a lot of fun tonight. And a lot of fun to look at, too. Check out the feathered train on her bejeweled Balmain dress. JLo proving once again she understands the assignment. I've been known to do crazier things. JLo amped things up for 2019's camp themed soiree, stepping out in a jaw dropping Versace dress dripping in diamonds and featuring her signature full length slit. Plus, a plunging neckline, perfect for showing off a 65 carat purple sapphire. The whole look had sentimental meaning, too. I mean, this is Versace Luigi, who just passed away. Um, who I worked with uh, at Versace for 20 years. It was Donatella's right hand. Um, this was his last creation, I, I believe, and uh, this is just an homage to him tonight. Um, so happy always to be here with Donatella. We've come to many mint balls together, and uh, I'm glad that she chose me this year. The gala skipped 2020 thanks to COVID, but Jen helped bring it back in a big way the next year, going all out in this Western look by none other than Ralph Lauren. Was it a collaborative effort? She completed her cowgirl couture with a cowboy hat, leather cuffs, and another sexy slit. Now husband Ben Affleck skipped the carpet, but snuck in a kiss with masks on and all. We're super happy. Um, what can I tell you? Then came 2023 with another style statement from Ralph. J-Lo super glam and sexy, old Hollywood with a modern twist, donning cutouts for days. It's a fun. It's if fun. it's not going to be fun, then why do it? Yeah, I, I gotta be home with my husband and my kids. Totally. It has to be a little bit of a fun night out for mommy. That's it. You deserve <laughs> it. Given her track record, we know 2024 will come with even more fun, especially with everything there is to play with when it comes to the theme, the Sleeping Beauty's reawakening fashion. Oh my God, it's a big day for me.